Hey, what's going on, you Brazilian bumblebees? Today, we are doing a highly requested video, a class setup video. This is, you know, every single comment or every single video has a comment saying like, yo, show me some class setups. Let me know what you use, what the pros use. Um, and as per usual, as per any game, right? Most pros are going to be running the same exact thing. So, um, you know, unfortunately, if you guys have seen any other pros videos on this, you're probably going to be seeing the same thing here with maybe minor differences. So uh, anyways, let's get this started. Uh, I'm going to run through basically in order how I have my classes set up. So a little pro tip, if you guys are, if you're a sub player, right, your first five slots should be all subs. And likewise, like vice versa, if you're an AR player, your first five slots should probably your, be your uh, your most used classes. So without further ado, let's get this started. I sort of label these just right now before this video. Uh, usually in the back of my head, I know exactly which which class is which, so I can switch it really easy in game. Infantry, Hunkered. Uh, this FG has Quick Draw, so I think that the Red Dot and Grip are pretty much very essential on the FG. I think the third attachment, which is right here quick draw can either you either use quick draw or you use long barrel and i would say that this is very dependent on the map and also on e each individual hill so maybe on a map like arden's forest i think you're gonna see me using uh you know long barrel on the first hill and maybe quick draw on the last hill because you're not really gonna get in that many long range super long range gunfights uh on that last hill and you're not gonna get in any close range gunfights on the first hill and then i also have uh my machine pistol as you guys can see and this is kind of like a recent development i think that it's better to run long barrel on the machine pistol because on an ar class because on an ar class you might get someone really weak you might get someone really one shot and i think that the fg right is so good that you should barely ever use your machine pistol in any sort of situation the only time when you should use this pistol is if you get someone so weak that you can just pull it out and finish the kill or you're maybe you're completely fucked and you can't reload you don't have time to reload so you have to pull out this pistol right but i think if you have, if you're ever in the situation where you can reload your fg that you should always use your fg so basically my whole thought process was uh for picking long barrel over extended mag a lot of people use extended mag it's just purely like you know getting that one one or two bullets off on someone a player who's weak i would never use this for someone who is full health so a lot like extended mag on this on on this pistol you can like pretty much it's it's like a mini sub you can get kills it's just it's not i don't know i, I hope i explained that well it's 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 not it's like a very minimal thing i really don't think it makes uh that big of a difference but you know that's just that's just how i feel i feel like my aim is good enough where uh, you know, if I need to land two, two, two or three bullets out of 10, I can, pr I can pretty much do that. So, um, I use Semtex in hardpoint. Don't really use nades. I think now, especially with hunkered being like in the game, uh, it's, it's really almost pointless to throw nades unless you're like a, a long range hill and you need to, you know, bounce nades around corners or something like that. But, uh, it's just takes too long to throw nades and it's very short to, throw a semtex so uh next class same exact thing just with long barrel well advanced rifling instead of quick draw and then this right here these are my basically my s and d ctf classes these two um long barrel same exact setup guys uh long barrel if for s and d i might switch the semtex to like a grenade or a stun but that's all like right before the match um yeah, so quick draw, long barrel, FGs. This right here is, it's like the loud, this like, for example, on the last hill of Arden's Forest, the, what, fourth, fifth hill, I don't know what it is. It's basically like a, a nade fest. And, you know, if you're going to get in that hill, you are going to get one shot from a nade. So might as well try to pull that out on the last hill. So, you, you know, that one nade that might, kill you if you have hunkered on you might survive it during armored and that may, might make like a huge difference it might make all the difference um any class for an ar in these in the setup video that has 
anything other than uh, infantry. So basically stock. As long as I don't have stock, I will be using scoped. So scoped is just basically like a not as good version of uh, of infantry. And right here, should do this. Long barrel, long barrel. So FG S and D use this in S and D a lot. Um, if I switch anything up, I would switch. Uh, actually, no. I, I I honestly these last these these four classes, in my like three through what six three through seven whatever. Um, these are all my S and D classes. Like I would use these for S and D. Um, even this class right here, the anti stun class, because people actually do stun a lot in S and D. And uh, I might throw inconspicuous on this, but uh, you know, there's a lot of maps where if you just get numbers, a clutch situation doesn't, it never really comes down to a clutch situation, especially realizing this at the event. Um, you know, maybe if you're in a 2v1 and the other guy's mountain and you guys don't, then it's kind of a disadvantage. But just as long as you, you trade that kill, if one of your teammates dies, it's very important. So FGS and D is the same exact thing as the armored just different division uh next my ppsh classes i think honestly after a couple debates and stuff like that you might see me using a sub a lot more i know my fg is strong but i i feel like you know pressure in this game it's getting to the point in this game where pressure is a lot more important than a high kd ratio and you know just stuff like that so uh basically how it, it it's like this in every single call of duty uh, the first two months, you basically, play, people don't really know what they're doing. So a lot of the teams that are good or win, just they sit on their L triggers more than, you know, the team that's losing. And I think that comes down to just people not really knowing what they're doing. So if you're L triggering, you are more or you are less likely to make a mistake. So I think this game is eventually going to become a three sub game, uh, especially if and hopefully they nerf the FG. Uh, that's just, you know, everyone's prayers at this point, but these two are my hardpoint classes, PPS, it, it, PPSH with Semtex, same thing, same class, but with stuns. Um, something that I will say about the PPSH is that online grip is definitely better, but on LAN, it's up for debate. I think that on LAN... I might test it out more that you know quick draw long barrel it's you just get crazy kills with this granted you get more recoil so you get so you will end up getting more recoil on this but especially like it's very difficult to you know shoot people at distance with without grip on when they're on a head glitch but if you if you use this and you get that random recoil where you have no recoil uh it's it's insane so uh, more testing to do, but I would say for online play, use quick draw grip. Uh, PPSH S and D classes, mainly going to be using the, these on like maps like Texas and uh, maybe London. Um, but yeah, so airborne inconspicuous, so fast class, silent class, gonna get nated or stunned. Um, I might these. I would switch between a nade, semtex, stun on these and you know just mix that up depending on the map depending on the team we play it's it's just all basically I, like this this lethal slot right here would be so dependent on what the other team uses and then same thing here completely silent can't really get naded but i'm slow so that's that's just the difference right here so these these two classes right here are very also very map dependent um depends on how like the smaller the map the more likely I am to use this class because you can't really sound whore all that well. Uh, inconspicuous, uh, when you sprint, you're loud as shit. So uh, this is sort of like a walking around class, you know, a sort of passive aggressive sub. And this is just, you know, I have the freedom to do whatever I want. I'm just not fast. So a couple trade offs there. Also, last thing, you guys see my machine pistols might have extended mag. Uh, again, not too sure about extended versus long barrel. Just trying stuff out, see where it goes. So those were my classes, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's a short little video for today, but hopefully that's all well. Um, they just added duo play to ranked. So I'm going to be playing with a lot of other pros. 
maybe I'll, you know, start up a series with Seth. And because uh, I know you guys have been enjoying his videos, his rank play videos, as well as mine. So I think that would be a, a great little collab right there. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Optic Team Scrim starting today. Um, not too sure about what our holiday schedule is going to be like, but at this point, we are very pissed off with our individual performance. And uh, I think it's time for all of us to step it up. So with other than, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.